Okay, I've been doing some work lately on Inventor, so I want to share some of the import weirdness I've found. Um, so let me show you what I mean. I'm using a very simple model. It's just a playground model. And this is the uh, assembly from Inventor. I press import. I want to import it down here. And I'm going to say, okay, any changes? No, thanks. Um, so this is it. Let's import it. So first thing we notice, it, it comes in flipped um, materials kind of wrong because none of the actual materials have been, let's say, properly converted. And also if you look down here, um, you can see these actor, helper actors, and you can see all the parts are called solids. So that's not too interesting, but that's how it is. Now let me move it a little bit to the side so you can see what's happening and uh, now let's go to 3ds max do the same thing and import the same file uh, this one eight, no, this one this one so let's import and uh, luckily i'm using meshes that's one and luckily i have the z-axis option down here so let's import it and there it is now you can see that it comes in properly so that's one good thing about it let me make it a little bit bigger you can see the naming conventions are still there so that's also very good and um, there's only one issue but that's typical for let's say inventor or all the inventor files it is that all these materials they are the very old ones from Autodesk, so the Autodesk materials now let's look at this one because I know this map is missing but let's take another one, this one, so I just prepared it a little bit and you can see two of them are done. Now we need to have this one as well, so because it turns out it's a different material, at least for Inventor. And here we go, so done, finished. So now let's export this, but first of all I'm going to use a material converter just to make it all standard materials. Because standard materials will give me proper FBX export and proper Datasmith export as well. So let's go to File, Export, where are you? Here. Let's use Datasmith there. And let's see, let's go to the proper thing. Let me see if it's done. Yeah, this one. Just overriding the one I had already. So export it, it gives me some notifications on small objects and big objects and, and UVs, but I don't care for now. And the other thing we're going to do is export it as an FBX. So let's use FBX, there you go, and it's the same, so overriding it, there you go. <coughs> Not changing any of the settings, just leave it as it is, and turning off, going here, now import first the FBX go. Let's import it. I'm leaving all this as it is. I'm going to import all. Now we wait and see what happens. So it has imported all the separate individual things, um, but as you can see, well, let's do this. Let's just drag them all in. Uh, here we go. Bang. So scale is a bit off. That's one, <laughs> a little bit, but at least it brings in everything, and it has also taken in the materials and the wood structure I added. Now let's do the let's this one aside. The good thing is you can see that it takes in all these and it creates different naming conventions. So it looks a little bit more like the inventor naming of the original file. Now let's go to Datasmith and let's import the Datasmith file. That was this one. There you go. I'm gonna put it here as well. Let's say okay. Uh, 
no changes to the import settings, import it, and there it is. So now it comes in at the proper place, in the proper size, because it's a lot smaller, and it comes in in the original, let's say, size and the materials of there as well. So if I now look at this one, um, you can see it here, all the naming is properly done. So you can see it has still the naming conventions which come from uh, Inventor. So to recap, we've got three ways of importing. One is the regular uh, import file, native file from Inventor. The big one is the FBX, which went off in scale, but that's it. We can just tune it down. And the third one was the Datasmith export from Max, which uses the proper material, also the proper UV if you look at this one direction it goes it goes from top to bottom and if you look at the FBX one that one is wrapped around it so that's also a difference so be very careful which one you're using because it can save you a lot of time and a lot of headaches and make sure that when you do the route through 3ds max to lose the Autodesk materials and change them to whatever type of material but I prefer to use the standard ones to bring them in once done it's all good and you can see down here now the materials are proper let's say proper unreal materials so it has the uh, instance material it has the native material down there you see that's all been done by the conversion from datasmith so for me datasmith was the best option so be careful and i hope you learned something and if you got questions just let me know cheers